Welcome back to another EFT Business Spotlight. And today we have the privilege and the honor and the joy to bring you someone that we really know well and love, and that is that is Penny. That is Penny, Penny Trito. Hi, Hello. Penny. Hi. <laughs> so welcome. I'm really excited. This is going to be a unique one. So for everybody watching, this is going to be a unique specialty that you probably don't know anybody else that works with the specialty. So I yeah. love this. So a little surprise, right? So Penny's background is really diverse, mm -hmm. right? She has her passion interests that we're going to talk about in a moment, but she also has a background as a Montessori school teacher. She's worked in the corporate world for years in corporate human resources. Mm -hmm. And of course, is a certified EFT practitioner. Yep, she went through our training practice, and certification. Trained. Yep. Exactly. Yep. But we're not here to talk about HR. Yep. And we're not here to talk about Montessori schools. No. We are here to talk about your EFT practice. So could you just, um, we're going to ask a little bit about, well, let's just start off with that. How did you find EFT? Yeah. Let's begin there organically, and then we'll kind of get and build up to the crescendo. Okay. I was introduced to EFT by a good friend of mine who um, uh, did training with you. She didn't get certified, but she did her training with you. And she it was also a licensed counselor. Um, She's got her master's in um, counseling. She also did a lot of Brene Brown work. Mm -hmm. And when we started talking about coaching and I was telling her I was interested, she said, you know, the one part of all of this training that I've had was um, EFT was the most effective, the quickest. Wow. Mm -hmm. It's just very adamant that I not waste my money on, you know, to college to, you know, be a counselor or take, you know, um, another one or two year college um, uh, coach oh. course, because she really felt like EFT was the answer. Okay. okay. That's a lot. That started my journey. Masters and lots of education. Yeah. Mm -hmm. now, now, that's how you first heard about it, but I also love to hear like, what have you seen it do for you in your own life? Mm -hmm. Oh gosh. Which like got you to be a real believer. I, I don't, I'm not even the same person that I was two years ago. It's the transformation and how I feel about myself and how I handle situations, how I handle stress with, you know, family and work. It's, um, I'm, I'm just a different person. And I think the one time um, that really sticks in my mind was I'm uh, doing a matrix reimprinting with my friend that introduced me to it. And that so profoundly changed how I felt about myself that I just was completely sold. Mm. Mm -hmm. I worried, um, often to, you know, people that are asking about EFT to my clients, because I just really strongly believe that, you know, it, it's because of that one experience that I was transformed. Right. Oh, great. Okay. Lovely. I, and I love, you know, when I'm working with clients, just kind of seeing that same experience, like just knowing that, you know, they've, they've uh, had some sort of revelation or something has just fallen away that they've been carrying for years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a sense often when people start doing tapping, like we were talking about earlier, of a sense of freedom yes. that gets created in their lives. And and you were telling us about a unique sense of freedom that you actually felt really early in your life that you've kind of made a full circle to. And I'd love to yes. hear about that. Yes. Um, when I was little, it, from the earliest memory I have, I loved horses. Mm -hmm. Horses. So much that I wanted to actually be a horse. <laughs> to run around in the meadows and the fields and the forest and just that sense of freedom. Um, I still even now can just picture how it felt being little and just, you know, having no baggage carrying it around with you. And just that, that feeling of freedom was just amazing. So, so you've taken that love of, of horses and freedom and, freedom and, and combined them. <laughs> into I have combined them. So, um, you know, what I just, figured out recently was that, you know, I still have such a passion for horses and for people. So I can easily put these things together. Mm -hmm. so created a niche where I work with equestrians and it's not just the people who are riding, but it's also their support families. Right. I have a blog that I created called Show Moms. And it's all about, you know, the stress of being in the show world, whether it's just really low key, or whether you know you're really high up there in competition, um, there's a lot of stress that goes into horseback riding, whether it's safety issues, trailering issues, um, 
if you have an accident, how do you recover from being in an accident? Mm, yeah. mm -hmm. What if your best friend injures you? How do you get back on your best friend? Right. All those kinds of issues. Oh, yeah. I, I have some patients. I mean, equestrian is, you know, something lovely, but not an active part of my life. But I have, for example, a number of patients. And I don't want to say it consumes their life, but it's so much. The expenses, mm -hmm. the time, the stressors with regard to health. Right. Other just yep. if they're in competition, I mean, it's not like a small part-time hobby thing you do on the side. No. Right? And I, it's not been my experience as an observer. No. And, you know, I didn't have a horse of my own until I was 40. And mm -hmm. the reason why I ended up getting one is because my girls, thankfully, love horses too. So mm -hmm. something that, you know, we could do as a family for a few years, you know, when the kids were younger, but as they got older, you know, my son didn't want to be drugged to any more horse shows. And my husband was kind of over the whole thing. So it can create a lot of stress. You know, if you're not on the same page as a family that this is going to be your lifestyle, then it's, it's can be very um, upending and very stressful. So right. the finances, there's the time. I mean, I've um, myself felt, you know, guilty for taking time away from the rest of my family because I needed to be at the barn. Right. You know, it's, there's a lot to it. There's a lot of stressors. And, and like you're saying, I mean, I know you don't only work, somebody doesn't, doesn't have to own a horse to work with you because you deal with family dynamics and stress all the time. But mm -hmm. I imagine somebody that knows or loves somebody that is having stress and does deal with horses, boy, is it nice to be seen by somebody that really understands the ins mm -hmm. and outs and the intricacies that somebody else outside that world just wouldn't. Yeah, understand. yeah and they wouldn't, they, you know, unless, you, unless you're kind of in that world, you wouldn't really um, understand you know, and there's also, um, you know, there's a lot of competition in the show world and the horse world of, you know, kind of, I'm a better rider, I have better equipment, and, you know, and if you're not a person who has the means to, you know, be up here with all of that, then, you know, you're, there's all that comparison and the conflict and mm -hmm. all that too. So it's not just, you know, the level of riding, it's um, you know, how you see yourself in that um, world too. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. For sure. So tell us how you um, work with clients in person, online. How do you most go? of it is on online. I don't um, currently have a setup where I can actually see people in my house. So I, I love doing zoom calls. I'm really comfortable with it. I've gotten used to it. Um, my clients seem to be really receptive to it. And it, you get a lot more flexibility because you don't, um, you know, in an office where you can only be in there at certain times. So right, right, right. Right. It's a later uh, afternoon appointment that works. I have um, one client that is in Florida that I see at 6 a.m. So yeah. Oh, you're flexible. There's, so you're, there's, you're uh, based in Washington State. I'm based in Washington State. Yeah, great. Do you have a website that helps people? I do. Um, it's called Penelope Trito EFT Coach. So Penelope, T-R-E-A-D-O, Trito. EFT Coach. EFT Coach .com. Okay, that makes sense. That's easy. Yes, thank okay. you. Yeah. Um, anything else you wanted to ask? I think that's good. That's really, you know, I will now, in my mind, every time I'm working with somebody that's in a question that's dealing through stresses, and I know that EFT can help them, Yeah. you know, I think of you, and that's perfect. Right, right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, thank you. Yes, thank you. Thanks for what you're Thanks doing. Thanks for joining us yes, today. Yes, you're welcome. Thank you.